Thank you, Rajesh, and thank you, Mr. Kant. Uh, our next session is again with Mr. Rajesh Pansal, CEO at the Reserve Bank Innovation Hub. He's going to talk about innovation and the next half billion. He has a presentation for us. Rajesh. So very good afternoon, everyone. Good evening and good morning to viewers in other parts of the globe. It's a pleasure to be invited to this Carnegie Global Technology Summit. And honestly, more the pleasure if your ex-employer, you know, requests you to join for a summit. It can't be. So it's a wonderful opportunity for me. Thanks, Rudra, for inviting me over. So I'll just take about 15 minutes to talk about innovation and the next half billion. In the last two hours, I've also been present. We have heard about how innovation has been the bedrock of what India has built in the last one decade, starting from Aadhaar to other pieces which we'll talk about. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Sorry about that, thanks. So, as we have spoken in the earlier sessions, India is one unique country which has built the world's largest open digital public system, which means we have built not just Aadhaar, an open digital ID with 1.3 billion people having an ID. Around that, what is called as India Stack has been built, which allows anybody to open an account instantly using electronic KYC, which allows anybody to create a digital locker on which I carry all my documents. It allows anybody to digitally sign. So 1.3 billion people in India have the ability to digitally sign today. And obviously it has also led to a paperless, you know, cashless society with UPI becoming the de facto way to transact. So no other country around the world has done this. I got it right, yeah. So then, and to top it all, there is, you know, we have built uh, the Pradhan Mantri Jandan Yojana, the only country in the world where the political top bosses themselves launched an initiative, that is the first initiative of this government, where everybody should have one bank account, and this was launched in August 2014, and as we are all aware, more than 400 million accounts have been opened under this initiative. So this stack put together has enabled India, every adult Indian to have an account, or if they don't have an account, to instantly have an account with the account aggregator framework, which you know about, to ensure that everybody can get credit based on you know, whatever other financial history they might have with another provider. Which has the potential to solve population scale problems. And I'm saying, yes, we have done a lot, but have we really reached our mission? Or is it just the beginning, to borrow words from Mr. Khan? In my view, it's just the beginning, because what we see is, we see all this, you know, you hear about all the startups, Paytm, Policy Bazaar, Google Pay, Lending Card, Build as Phone Pay, and on the left you see all the big financial institutions, the banks in the country, the SBIs of India, and the private sector banks. Yes, they're all doing a lot, but, I mean, you see this matrix from one of the publications, payments, lending, well tech to insure tech. There are a lot of companies who have been doing things. What is the impact? There is a lot of VC money flowing in. There is a lot of unicorns every week or every two weeks. What we are looking at is how do we, this decade becomes a transformational decade in which we actually serve the large masses or the next half billion as we call it. Because if you look at various things, one of the indicators that I talk, to talk about is we heard 4 billion UPI transactions a month, which is amazing. No other country has seen the trajectory. But a conundrum is 
that you still have 14.47% as a cash to GDP ratio. It's a conundrum worth solving. So because you heard about payment, that's why I wanted to give an example. How do we solve this and over time work together to ensure that our economy not just does not become, I mean, I wouldn't say cashless, but a cash light economies where, you know, some of the Scandinavian countries are who are looking at a 2 to 3 percent cash to GDP ratio. So that is, you know, making real impact. A question to ourselves. Are we innovating only for the top half billion, for you and me, who get contacted over text and over email all the time and have all the pre-approved loans that is there? The answer, it depends on the you know, vantage point you sit at. Some of the people say that it has impacted lives of 85% of people. I'm not sure. There's something which needs to be asked and you know, the rural folks might tell you a story. We have done a lot, but we have to do what, you know, the next half billion, what is it that we can do? Sorry. So there is a lot of untapped opportunity in India. We are talking about next half billion, we are talking about 70 million dairy farmers in India. We are talking about 80 million PMUI beneficiaries. You might ask what is PMUI? It is Pradhan Mantri Ujwala Yojana under which the government of India provides free LPG or a cooking gas connection or a cooking gas bottle for my international friends who are seeing it stream live. What happens in that, that, that scheme is perhaps, you know, the, one of the biggest initiatives in the world for a clean fuel. But we still have a challenge because financing that 850 rupees or a $12 cooking gas refill is still a challenge which needs to be solved. It's a problem which can be solved by today's data, the power of data, and collaboration between various actors. That's a problem which is still not solved. Obviously, the 8% of MSME problem that needs to be solved. Only they have credit. Another untapped opportunity is obviously 80 million SSG. This is a national rural livelihood mission under which there are 80 million women who are connected on a weekly basis. But they are still at level one, which means they have initial some funding, but what happens to their data? Can that data be tapped by the innovation that I see in this room or in, on streaming? That, that is the power that we want to unlock. 110 million farmers under which the government of India transfers money regularly to them. That is data, but that data has still not been tapped. And what I am urging you here, and as a CEO of the Reserve Bank Innovation, I mean, two minutes, I'll talk about what our role is. How do we unlock the power of that data? Not just the data of all of us, where there is a lot of digital footprint that exists, which is being leveraged by the fintechs and the traditional providers, but also unlock the power of data that is not visible to the fintechs or the financial system providers. So how do we create you know, data to ensure better financial products? This is nothing new, it's been happening. But how do we try and ensure that it happens for the next half billion? And that is where, sorry for advertising Reserve Bank Innovation Hub at, at this forum. It's a new company, it's a wholly owned subsidiary of the Reserve Bank of India set up this year. This is where the Reserve Bank Innovation Hub comes in, where they ideate, they look at, they facilitate we facilitate as well as incubate ideas and the fintech industry innovates. You know, our mission in simple terms is your innovation, our mission. If you go to website, you will see that's the mission that we are working on. How do we ensure that the, the sector succeeds? And our motto is innovation for inclusion and impact. Basically in Hindi, Navonmesh, Samavesh and Prabhav. That is what we want to create in India. And as Mr. Khan said and other speakers said, how do we ensure that we, we create impact on the next half billion to create an economy which is inclusive to ensure technology is taken to the last mile? And I'm sure, you know, as a facilitator of this mission and with the support of the private sector and the fintechs, that is all possible. 
So another way, if you look at, we want to look at creating affordable or facilitating affordable, suitable financial products available to consumers in a secure manner and a frictionless manner. Well, as you heard from speakers before me, whether it's a UPI, you know, credit issue, whether it is something else, there is a lot of friction. I'll give you a small example. My team went to the field and did a small study on what is the friction in taking a farm loan. It was an eye-opener even to me, as somebody who's worked in the financial sector, who has worked in Uttar Pradesh and Uttarakhand. The reality was, was bizarre, if I, I may say. So I don't want to name the district, you know, not in a public forum like this. The interesting find was to take a loan of 600,000 rupees. It's about $1,800. So to take that loan, the farmer ends up paying 30,000 rupees, 5%. And this is not even including the bribe I'm talking to you about. That is the friction that exists. If you look at your journey and my customer journey, there is a lot of friction that exists. So we at the Innovation Hub want to ensure that all of us and the next half billion enjoy and ensure that we get frictionless you know, customer journeys. And as a part of that, would urge you know, all of you to partner with us to see how do we reduce friction in the system. You know, mostly it is processes that we are used to, but how do we ensure that the processes become you know, efficient and in case of agriculture, I'm talking to a couple of state governments on what can we potentially do and integrate with the land registry to make this process seamless. And just the last slide, how do we work? We don't work by creating solutions ourselves. We work with the partner ecosystem, whether it is the RBI, the regulators, academia, IITs, IIMs, as well as technology companies, fintechs, as well as domestic and global innovation hubs to achieve our mission of innovation, inclusion for impact. With this, thank you very much for your patience and thanks Carnegie again for inviting me. Want one question? Yeah, we have three minutes, as I see the clock ticking here. So I think we can, we have time for one question if there is a question or I'm available after the session if you, any of you want to talk to me. No question leaves a lot of questions in my mind, but I hope it was useful. Thank you so much.